Hey there, I'm DC Energy with you. Hey, I just you know I just thought about it. I was doing had some time and I was looking at some of the comments and um, I was talking with one of the uh, subscribers and he had a problem, same problem I had with the uh, that GTK battery from China. And um, yeah, he went through the same thing. So I was going to give an update on it. I actually took. I have two 400 amp ones. I took them apart. This is one of them. And this is a part. I, I, you know, because I spent a lot of money, I didn't want to let it go to waste. So I compressed the batteries. A couple of the cells did swell. But I'm still using it, but I'm watching it carefully. I've been using it for a couple of months right now. I have it on a 40 amp, you know, MPT mixed sky blue controller. And I got this, um... Inverter been working out thousand watt, um, you know. And what I'm doing is because that time when that happened, I broke up the system, and I'm on the process of redoing it again. And I'm gonna make it better. Right now, the weather's been so hot that I just kind of panicked. So I just split the system up into four different categories. And what I mean is, um, I actually wind up getting uh, some more batteries from China. This is 280. And I had a inverter that had failed, but they sent me a new one, which I'm using right now. And also with another Make Sky Blue um, 60 amp. So that's one setup, and that's used for half of a, you know half of my system. <laughs> then I have another setup, which is with big battery, because uh, when that happened, I. I went and got a big battery which has been running excellent so um, that's my main stuff right here and then I wind up getting a pure sine wave inverter 6,000 watts from China and that's been working so far very good um, with also a separate make sky blue uh, MPPT controller and then I have one more setup. This this uh this is not an MPPT. This is the other one, and I use that with the other 400 amp system that I had that messed up that the battery swelled. But instead of having them go to waste, um, I use them at a lower capacity level and I watch them carefully. And um, and I use it just to run the refrigerator something small nothing big and I don't charge it up to full capacity uh, just to play it safe because the balances had failed so I have actually I have the one my one system I broke it up into four different parts um, just to play it safe yeah and from that process you know because when that happened it was just like um, I actually had to use my portable battery setup, you know, which is this, just to keep me going. That little thing kept me going, at least had lights and basic stuff. Um, and I even could run the uh, refrigerator and stuff like that, you know, in the daytime. At the nighttime, I just had to, you know, I had to take it easy with it. So, just want to get it up to give an update on that. Uh, so far, everything is working good. Uh, the weather's been so hot over here, and what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to tie these systems together and um, build a station and do it right. Uh, hopefully within another, I don't know, a couple of weeks, you know, as soon as this, the hot weather breaks. And hopefully I'll put a video out about that and then, um, you know, give you an idea as far as how I got it going and you know what maybe I'll show you my solar setup hold on yeah and on my solar setup on the floor I have um, I got three 200 watt panels from Rick Solar um, that's for one setup that I'm using because I have four different individual setups so these 600 is for one
And then on top of the roof, I have it broke up into two setups, uh, 150 watt um, panels, Fordham, uh, producing 600. And then I have another setup of two on the uh, front, which is a 220, that's on another battery bank. And I have another two on the other side. And these are the other two on the other side. So I know the setup looks a little, a little crazy, but um, as I was going along, that's how I did it. But what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna actually redo it as soon as the weather starts to uh, get a little bit colder, and then set it up a little bit more professionally, and then link the solar panels uh, together and organize them and fuse them right. And put it in a, uh, uh, a better ventilated area so I can get the most out of my batteries. Because right now at the, sp the places that I have them, um, they're in sealed areas with the ventilation. Uh, with, when, the, when the temperature goes up to like 100 and 110, uh, it, it's just a lot of stress on these batteries and the fans. You can hear the fans going in the background. So... That's one of the things I gotta do um, right away as soon as this weather starts to change. But yeah, that's on the process and that's gonna be happening very soon. Uh, my total system is actually um, 2,380 kilowatts, you know, which is small, but I'm running a tiny house and, you know, I have a um, greenhouse and a bunch of other little things that I do. But yeah, I'm going to tighten it up, organize it, get it better. Uh, I just want to say this big battery actually uh, actually is working very well. You know, even this one that I bought from China, that's been doing good. I uh, got it at a good price too. And this one, this one was a, the one I had failed. They sent me a used one, which I'm using. It drains... A lot of the it, it, it the idling power it, it you know I haven't really um, been watching it too much but it drains a little extra more than uh, this one does but it's okay makes sky blue still working like a champ All right actually I talked with the rep the other day because I have one make sky blue that actually uh, stopped working so I actually had to reset it. He showed me how to reset it. It's reset. It takes the input, but it's still still having a problem with it. But hopefully, I'm gonna try to figure out. If I don't, I'll give uh, Machine Brick Brickner a call again, and hopefully, we can resolve this stuff. But just want to thank you for uh, taking the time looking at my little sports setup, and hopefully, when I organize it and get it right and make it nice and take it off this area right here uh i'll put it up there and maybe somebody could benefit from the chaos that i went to <laughs> all right hope everyone's having a good day all of that good stuff see you in the next time thanks